for this week's video, we're going to do a little thrift and style. So basically I'm going to go thrifting and then we're going to come back here and we're going to style the items that I thrifted. So let's go thrifting. Hello, we are at the very first thrift store, this me waving hello. I found this mug of Cruella de Vil and I mainly want to show it because my thrift store wanted $15 for it and I thought that was wild. And then they also wanted $24 for a set of three really rusty um, horseshoes. I thought this dress was fun, but this is the only reason. The top was a little weird, but I liked the bottom. Um, for all y'all horse girls out there, found this bag. I really liked this belt. Um, it was embroidered and it had a cool buckle and I'm pretty positive it's from the 70s. I was not quite sure. And then I found this horse belt. I really liked it, but um, it was missing some leather. So I didn't get it. I did get that belt though. So yay. All right, on to the next thrift store. This is what my cart looks like after an hour. Let's go through it. I found this 70s blouse. I really liked the lace on it. And then I found the sweatshirt, but it was supposed to be a set. So I didn't get it because I don't know where the pants went. Found this cute little pleated plaid 90s skirt. I found this little Woolrich button up. They wanted 20 bucks for it. So I left it behind. I found some pretty cool sweaters like this one. I thought it was funky. And then I found this kitty one and I love the kitty one. And then I found this 70s cardigan one and I really liked the design and the colors of it. And then I found this cool one that had a really fun design on it. I found a bunch of dresses from like the 70s and 60s, but I just wasn't feeling any of them. I don't know. None of them were really my size and I wasn't really wowed by any of them. I found this really fun floral 70s blazer by the brand Collegian. I also found this Hawaiian shirt. Um, the colors were kind of cool. I found this pullover sweatshirt that says Australia on it. I kind of liked it, but I didn't like that it was pink. also found this 60s pink velour shirt, which I really liked the style of it, but it was pink, and I never wear pink. I found this fuzzy little outdoor jacket, and I really loved it. I found this little pullover sweatshirt, and looking back, I don't know why I didn't get it. And a cute little camisole tank that is single stitch on the hem. I found these crazy 90s patchwork boots by the brand Splash. I found these fun Skechers sandals. And that's all my loot from the second thrift. Alright, on to the third thrift store. I thought these little corn on the cob plates were super cute. I found three pairs of vintage Levi's jeans. I found two denim pairs and then one black denim pair. I found a red hoodie that was vintage by Pan Nail. I found this cardigan with a tie. I wasn't a huge fan of the blue though. I found this really pretty 90s floral dress. Um, I just didn't get it because it didn't really look like it would fit me. I found another one of those fuzzy coats. I also found these boots that I thought were kind of cool. They're fuzzy and they look like they're like from the 60s I would guess. But they wanted $15 for them and I just wasn't a fan. Now I'm at an antique store because I love antique stores. Here's this dog tapestry that I really, really want, but they want $500 for. I thought this artichoke sign was super adorable. This is my favorite booth at this antique store. I always find something that I want to put in my house. I really thought this coat rack with these little dogs at the bottom was the cutest thing ever. I thought this Lee Rider's boot rack was interesting. All right, we're going to skip to another trip to the thrift that I went on. I thought this dress was interesting, but didn't quite do it for me. I found these cute little white tanks. This is the only one that was $1.99, so I grabbed that one. I don't buy panties from the thrift store, but I thought these were really cute. My thrift stores don't have changing rooms, so I would have tried these on if they did to see if they would fit. I found a ton of these pants that were like new with tags on them. They were all like very nicely made too. I found this bomber jacket that said Joe on it. It was vintage, but I wasn't super into it, so I left it behind and I saw some lady carrying it around afterwards. I thought this top was kind of fun. It had some cacti on it. And then I also found a bunch of these 90s, early 2000s tank tops. And I thought they're all fun and very different and unique. I kind of piled them all together and I left them behind. Sometimes when I'm not having a very good thrift day, I like finding all of the 90s and Y2K pieces I can and I'll make piles of them and I leave them behind for someone to find. 
And then I found these American Apparel jeans. They looked really nice, but they were kind of like a skinny jean, and I didn't really want that style. And then I found these jeans that I thought were kind of fun by Bongo. They were also skinny, but they were like 80s. And then I found these Calvin Kleins, which I would have gotten because they would have fit me and someone altered them to make them more of like a skinny jean though, and I didn't really like that, so I left them behind. I really liked the pattern of this skirt, but then I found a hole in it. I also found this vintage ringer shirt, this little vintage tank top, this gray sweatshirt, this sweatshirt that I thought was really interesting, this Mickey Mouse sweatshirt, and then this really cool jacket that I really liked. Then I found this knitted sweater that I thought was kind of cute, and then I found this 60s dress I thought was really pretty and had a metal zipper on the back. It did have a rip on the front, so I did leave it behind. All right, we're at the next thrift store. These are some items that I already found and I put in my cart. I found this top I thought was really interesting. It did have a metal zipper and I could tell it was a vintage top, but I don't know. I also found this really pretty floral 70s blouse. It probably came as a set. Then I found this 90s velvet skirt by Rhapsody. I thought it was really pretty. These Lee cut off shorts I thought were quite cute. I found this 70s dress. It still had the original tags still attached, but the elastic in the waist was worn out, so I would have had to replace that, and I already have a big old pile of stuff I need to fix. Then I found this tank that was made of 100% silk. I thought it was really pretty. This polka dot vest I thought was super interesting as well. I don't know, something about it. also found these 70s plaid pants. I found this early 2000s Sydney shirt. It was super soft and I really liked the design and everything, but I left it behind for someone else. And this was what I got from my trip. I'll see you guys back at home. So now I'm going to style the items that I've collected thrifting. Um, I went on multiple different thrift trips, so this is an accumulation of items, but let me show you and then let's style them. I love finding little white vintage tank tops. I found this one that's kind of ribbed and has like a scalloped trim on it with like three little buttons and then I also found this vintage one that is single stitch at the hem and it has like a little lace detail in the front and it's by BYC made in Korea and how I styled this item I paired it with these little Lee cut off short jeans. At one point in time, they were probably shorts and someone cut them, but I really like the length of them. They didn't cut them too short. And then I added a pair of cowboy boots and a bandana in my hair, and that's kind of just how I styled it. I found these two gray sweatshirts. I would style them in a similar way. First, I found just a plain gray sweatshirt. I'm really excited about this one because it's just a plain gray one. And I believe it's from like the 70s, maybe early 80s, just based off of the tag. And I would style this with a pair of Rudy Jude jeans that I have. I will link those jeans down below. And then a pair of vintage boots that I got off of eBay, I believe. And a vintage little beanie that has like little wolves or huskies on them. It used to be my brother or sisters from like the 80s. It's my favorite beanie. And this sweatshirt I would style in a pretty similar manner. This one just has Mickey Mouse on it though. And I believe this sweatshirt is from like the 70s or the 80s. The tag is very faded. And how I would style this guy is with the same Rudy Jude jeans, just no hat and with white converse. So a very simple and basic outfit, but that's how I typically dress most of the time is simple and basic. Next up, I found this little sweater that has mountains and this little guy with that like elk I would say, or a reindeer, and a sled. It's designed and licensed by Mark Chemtob. And I would just style it with this pair of Levi's jeans that I found. I'm not sure of the style of these jeans because I couldn't find the tag. And these jeans together were just a pair of white Converse and simple, basic. I wanted the sweater to be the star of the show, basically. Next, I found this plaid skirt that's from the 90s. It's by Tribes 
from the land of the brave. I just said tribes. It's tribes. Brain's not working today, I guess. I wasn't sure whether to get this skirt or not. I'm not a super huge fan of like the school girl kind of look. The way I styled this skirt, I tried leaning more into like the 70s and how they styled plaid skirts. So I styled it with a 90s poncho that I have and just a thermal underneath and a pair of 70s Zodiac boots. And I thought it looked really cute. It didn't remind me too much of schoolgirl. It just reminded me more of the 70s and I was digging it. Next item is this little 70s blouse. It just has this lace around the collar and it also has lace at the cuffs and it's a long sleeve. I just liked it because it was very light and flowy. I feel like you could definitely wear it during summertime. It's by Carefree Fashions. And how I styled this top is just with a 70s denim skirt, a brown belt, and these like black leather wooden sandals I have. All right, next item I styled was this belt that is beautifully embroidered. I thought it was a very gorgeous belt. I couldn't tell the age of this belt. It reminded me of like some belts in the 90s, but not quite. It might be from the 70s. So just a small and then a little number right there. And then the belt loop is very pretty. And the belt loop is mainly what made me think it was from the 70s. But the main reason why I bought this belt is because I needed the perfect dress to style it with. Was this 70s very kind of like nightgowny kind of yellow dress that I have. I thought it looked really cute together and then I paired it with just some leather flats. I have another two items, but I would style them the exact same way. They are basically the exact same item. They're both from Black Mountain Outdoor. I actually have another sweater from this brand and I actually really like that sweater, but it's just this cream sweater and you can't really see it all too well, but it has this pine cone design throughout. I thought it was super cute. And then I also found this jacket sweater the exact same day that I found this one. So, and it's by the same brand, Black Mountain Outdoor. But this one is like a dark brown. It reminds me of a bear and it just has pine trees and some moose on it. You can't really tell because it's very dark. I would style these in the same exact manner. So it's they're very comfy cozy. I would want to be cozy. I styled it with a pair of camo overalls that I actually got from Bass Pro Shop in the kids section and a white thermal underneath my overalls and a beanie and a pair of Sorel boots that I thrifted quite a while ago. It would be a perfect outfit for winter time. The last clothing slash accessory type item that I'm going to show styled are these 90s, early 2000s, Patrick Denim boots that are super chunky by the brand Splash. They are a size 10. I am not a size 10. I am a six and a half, seven, but for some reason I had to take them home with me. And I'm going to show you how I would style them if they were my size. I just styled it with a 90s skirt that I have along with a knitted vest. I believe it's from the 70s. It could be from the 80s. And then over that, I paired it with a 60s cardigan. I wanted the outfit to be pretty simple because I wanted the star of the show to be these boots. So that's all the clothing and like accessories that I'm going to show how I style them. The rest of the clothing items, I'm just going to have a little try on. I found a few sweaters. I just found this adorable sweater with little kitties across the top and it goes all the way around. I was quite obsessed with it. It's by the brand Mr. Noah. And then I found a 70s cardigan. I love finding 70s cardigan. It has some pockets. At one point in time, it had a tie, but the tie was not found when I found this item. And it had buttons. It has like holes for buttons, but the buttons are nowhere to be found. And I figured I could just add some buttons to it. And there was no brand. And then I found a hooded pullover sweatshirt. And I love finding these because it's pretty hard finding them, I feel like, by the brand Panamil. Then I found this really beautiful 70s dress. Fabric is velour. It has a tie in the back. It's a v-neck and it's by the brand Fire California. 
The last clothing item I have to show is one of my favorites. It's just this puffy jacket that has some western detailing on the front and the back. And I love how it's two-tone. And it's by the brand Sierra Trails. So I went to an antique store and I got some items. I found these little clips. I believe they are for a shower curtain or any like curtain. It has a hoop and clip at the bottom and it does have an initial DRP. I'm not entirely sure what that means but I really like the clips. I feel like they look like little scallops and I love that. So how I would style these little guys is I would hang them on the wall and put photographs or whatever I want to hang and it just clips a little clip and I really like it and I love that I can do that and it looks super cute. I love how the little wire loop can bend back and forth so I can also sit it on a shelf and put a little photograph of something as well and that's how I styled them both ways because it came in a pack of six so I have quite a bit. Also at the antique store I did get this boot jack. I honestly, I don't know why, I couldn't leave it behind. It was saying hey by me. It says Lee Ryder's authentic western pants and if you flip it this way there's like a little pair of jeans. Pretty cute. But I didn't get it to actually use as a boot jack. I got it to use as home decor. How I styled this item was with a bunch of other little vintage home decor that I have and I put it all together. I think it looks quite cute. Last item that I got from the antique store was this really pretty turquoise ring. It said it was labeled that they were made in the 70s. They had a bunch of them and they were pretty reasonably priced. I styled it with a coral ring that my husband got me many, many years ago and then a cactus ring that I actually made and I think it looks really cute all together on my hand but I'm pretty excited about this guy. My only issue with it is that I did get it a little too big, so if I wear it, it kind of does slide around a bit, but I'd rather have my rings be a little too big than a little too small because claustrophobic. I also thrifted this little basket. My main intention for this basket is to use it as an Easter basket for my son. I got a basket like this as well. I didn't want to get like any of the Eastery kind of ones because I wanted to restyle it after Easter is over and I would style it with some bandanas in it along with this vase that I thrifted and I really love this vase. It is very springy dingy. It has like a little bouquet of flowers and some wheat on it and I thought it was gorgeous. I styled it with some dried crest videos. It currently has some fresh flowers in it but I styled it in the basket with the vase and then some bandanas that I have along with the boot jack and then the little clips holding up the picture of my husband's grandmother and grandfather. And I thought it all looked really cute, very spring. And I also put a little porcelain chicken that I have with it and I love it. All right, I have a few more items. I found this vintage Greatland cook set. And it comes with a pretty big pot, a pan, and a smaller pot on the inside. I'm excited to use this for camping. I'm not going to show how I style it because I mean, how am I, I, I'm not really going to style this item. But my son really loved the pots and pans as well. I love when thrift stores leave out their Christmas items all year round. It makes me very happy. It's just a little green ceramic sleigh. It says USA on the bottom. And how I'd style this is I was planning on putting a bunch of my vintage ornaments in it. Can't wait for Christmas. Just nine more months about, I would say. The very last item that I thrifted was this gorgeous pitcher. And it looks like it was like a handmade pottery pitcher, just how it's made. But it's actually made by Vandor Import San Francisco, made in Japan. And how I'd style this baby to use as a vase. I love vases. I'm obsessed with using anything and everything as a vase and putting some flowers or dried whatever I want in here. But I was also thinking of using it to store my paint brushes in. 
All right, so that is everything that I thrifted and how I would style the items. I hope you guys have a good one. Later.